I thought I'd get someone who's, who's really in that never Trump category. That would be uh, a town hall's Katie Pavlich and those who support Donald Trump that he should be given the chance and uh, open way to the nomination that is well within his grasp, uh, Gina Loudon. Uh, Gina, ended with you, begin with you. Uh, if he doesn't have the 1237, the, the delegates you need, uh, he can crow about having a big lead, but he doesn't have a done deal. So what's wrong with making this a multiple ballot deal? Well, the problem is, first of all, the people are not going to sit down for this, Neil. If it were any other candidate in any other year, and, and, and I would even submit to those who are in the Never Trump camp, if it was their candidate, um, would they not be calling him the heads above, hands down winner? It's because it's Donald Trump. he or Trump. she had the delegates to mm -hmm. be the nominee, right? Well, I mean, he's not there yet, but he's closer than anyone else. He's far okay. closer than anyone else. Matter. And the rest of Katie, the, and the, rest of the competition favor him. He is close. I mean, he's within okay. right now 564, yeah. closer than any other candidate. Al Gore was also very close to winning uh, the presidential election in 2000, and the rules, uh, you know, don't apply there. So the fact is that Donald You're Trump has You're talking about he didn't have all the electoral votes, all right? But a little, R little right. one is the general election, one's the convention. He so was, let's he stick was to very conventions. Close, right. Well, well, if it's normally a lot of candidates they get to their convention without the majority of delegates in hand, but such a big lead that it's without argument. Uh, look, do you look, think Donald that that's Trump's what? Go ahead. Th Donald Trump's obligation and the obligation of any other candidate who is still in this race, John Kasich or Ted Cruz, if they want to be crowned the nominee before the convention, they have to reach the 1237 threshold. None of the candidates have done that. And therefore, if none of them do it until we get to convention, that's where we're going to go. And there's a reason why we set up a contested convention system in order to make sure this is done properly. And Donald Trump doesn't want to go to a contested convention because he understands that at a convention, there is a majority opposition to him rather than a majority support. Well, and so I don't know. It's, 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 no, no, no. Well, that's a little close. Away, it, it don't, they but, have but, to get no, to no, the no, number wait, 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 before wait, they're crowned the nominee. No, no, no. Careful. I mean, I could see uh, the argument that Gina makes. I mean, if he's got a big enough lead. Gina, here's where I would question this. It's not anyone's until someone crosses that threshold. But what if it is really, really close that all of a sudden Ted Cruz, assuming it's Cruz, is really, really close to Trump. And so after the first ballot, it hasn't happened. After the second ballot, it hasn't happened. And then we know from prior multiple ballot type conventions, uh, they either settle on one of the guys or they pick an outside guy. But close is not enough. Well, I'm okay with the process as long as it is the process by law, Neil. Where I have a problem with what the Never Trump people are saying is that they're saying they're willing to go third party at this point. And I don't know about you, but I can do that math. Uh, you know, the Never Trump plus third party equals Hillary, plain and simple. And I would ask the Never Trump people to remind themselves that, you know, they're calling Trump and his supporters the crazy ones. But they are the ones who at this point, and all due respect to my friend Katie, but they should consider that they have aligned themselves with George Soros, the lamestream media, uh, the GOP establishment, and even Hillary at this point in their in their unification so, Gina, against Trump. So real quickly, who's really Gina, the crazy let me ask one? You real quickly, then. Respond, some, uh, one second, Katie, I will get. But if, if it looks like Ted Cruz starts running away with it, starts picking up all these other states, gets to a prohibitive lead, and is on the cusp of getting the 1237, and it's Donald Trump who's trailing by a couple hundred delegates. Would you feel that it's Ted Cruz's nomination? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, I okay. think that I think that That's as long as I it mean. goes by the process, Katie, I just don't want what the voters Understood. want to be undermined, Neil. Okay. That's Katie. it. What do you that, make that was of that the point scenario? I made in my first statement of, of, of the segment is that every nominee has an obligation to get to the threshold of the delegate count, 1237. If they don't do it, we go to convention. But to respond to what Gina was saying about people who are not going to vote for Trump and the never Trump crowd being aligned with George Soros, George Soros invested in Trump Tower. I mean, he has actually done business with Donald Trump. You want to talk about Donald Trump not being in bed with the establishment? Well, but Chris ladies, Christie you're going to far field. I just well, well, actually, actually, guy. Actually, Katie, actually, Katie, oh, actually, 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 George, Soros, campaign of both George of Soros is very invested uh, in the Kasich campaign, too, right. for the very purpose of siphoning votes from Donald it. Trump. George Maybe Soros is meddling in this Neil. campaign. You're off the issue. You're off the issue. And I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Okay. No, I was just looking at the math, ladies. That's all I wanted to look at. And you both argued very well for your point. And I think by talking over each other, we saved a considerable amount of time. Thank you. All right. <laughs> now, now, there's another uh, trend that's